Hello and welcome back to the lecture on Applied Econometrics. We have been talking about model specification and in model specification, we spoke about the problem of exclusion or inclusion of a variable. And we also talked about measurement error. So in this particular lecture, we are actually going to talk about the problem that is associated with the measurement error. And this measurement error, so let me write it down, measurement error occurs, the measurement error occurs because we do not have the very uh, the values for the exact variable that we are looking for and because we do not have values for the exact variable what we use is a proxy variable we use a prox proxy variable and because we use a proxy variable we leave out some of the part that we actually want to measure from that exact variable and let me explain that with an example so that it becomes easier for us to sort of you know get a hold of what is an exact variable what is a proxy variable so let me say that Let's say an exact variable, I use this term, for let's say measuring wage is let's say IQ or talent of an individual, right? But we really do not have the data on IQ. Rather, what we have is some value for education, some data for education, okay? Which is basically a proxy, which is a proxy for IQ, okay? So when I want to measure IQ, but I'm actually measuring education, so I'm basically using a proxy variable, okay? And it is something like saying, you know, like it goes, a one-eyed uncle is better than no uncle, okay? So I have something instead of, you know, having nothing. So that is why there is a plain, there are plenty of use of proxy variable we will see in, in the literature of economics where we basically use survey data. And the reason is that, you know, it is very difficult to collect data on specific items, let's say IQ. Now a surveyor will not be able to collect IQ. He cannot go to each and every every household or the sample households and actually go to go and measure IQ of people. Okay. The other part is that, like let's say I am a researcher and I'm using a survey data, but the survey data is actually collected by someone else. Okay. So the first problem I said is that the cost of measurement, okay, cost of measurement. Measurement and the second problem that is talking about is that it is a survey data that is collected by let's say in, in the case of India It is by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and it is you know, a lot You know a large number of wings across the states and districts and these people are always working to collect this data now This data is collected based on a standard format and that format is prescribed by you know again as a group of statisticians and they decide on what format the data should be collected on and there are different rounds and in different rounds they, they collect data on different topics let's say migration education unemployment health and so forth now i as a researcher may not have the exact requirement whatever data they're collecting but rather i would have some requirements for which there is no data okay or there are some you know partial data which is basically collected by some proxy variables okay so that is that is the second problem so it is basically surveyor the survey the survey the spelling is wrong i have written survey is done by a different agency okay by a different agency not by the researcher so that is a problem so they don't the the, the agency does not know or the here the ministry does not know what exactly me as a researcher sitting in a in a corner of a university would be requiring okay so and there are so many other researchers, you know, they're requiring so many different aspects of data. Even if the uh, ministry knows that, okay, these are the data required, it is very difficult to collect data for everyone. So essentially, they collect this data in a standard format, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And that format is essentially, you know, that data is used by everyone and people actually use proxy data. So let me actually show you before I actually talk further about it. Let me actually show you some sample of data which is collected by uh, national sample, basically Ministry of Statistics in the form of national sample survey data. Now, what I'm going to show you is a report. So this is 66th round national sample survey data collected on employment, unemployment back in 2019. And let me just show you what are the different tables for which data is collected and what are the different variables for which data is collected. And this is, as I said, it is employment, unemployment, as well as consumption data that was collected. 
So let's see. So let's say I want to actually you know understand let's say people income that people are making and the wages and salaries people receive and you know what are the variables which are responsible for the income or the wages and salaries okay so let us see what are the variables uh, you know uh, which are covered so you can actually go to it the reason i have kept it is you can actually go and you know just type down ns66 round and you will actually you know go to these links and if you click this must be one must be dot nic dot in it'll actually end up getting the report and basically the same thing you will get i have already downloaded it here so let us look at the table. So here, uh, this table one, table two are of not much of use. Table three also you can use it. But let's say if I'm interested, I'm I'm coming back to table three. So let's say I'm interested about the um, education part. Okay. So let's say I want to understand uh, how I can measure the IQ part. Okay. You see, this is the block block four that provides education basically details on education and other things okay skills and education and so forth so if you see that we have education level general is provided and we have let's say not literate literate with, with formal schooling you know like and then you have below primary primary middle secondary higher secondary diploma certificate course graduate postgraduate and above so that's all you have about you know if you want to capture information on general education okay now if you want to sort of go and see further about people who join some sort of technical education let's say engineering or medical and things like that so we have data for that so no technical education technical degree in engineering agriculture medicine dip diploma certificate below graduate level in agriculture engineering and so forth and above uh, diploma cert diploma certificate above graduation level in agriculture engineering medicine craft and other subjects so all that is talking about is the level of education whether it is technical or it's a medis uh, basically engineering or me medical and whether you had a degree or you had a diploma certificate that's all you get okay so you have no idea about how they perform what is the score or you know whether they were excellent in some topics whereas the not so excellent in some other topics, whether they had a good communication skills, whether they, they had a good sort of networking skills, you, you don't have any idea about all this. You can also get, you know, about if they're, you know, currently attending schools so or they have, they have dropped out, so that data you get. And there's another table that provides you the details about vocational training, whether you have received formal vocational training, non-formal vocational training, and learning on the job, and, you know, all these details and what are your field of training and you know uh, so let's say mechanical engineering and then what are the sources of degree if you receive this uh, degree from industrial training institute or iti or polytechnics and so forth so it is talking about your trade your you know sources of your uh, certification or basically degree and you know uh, basically and, and you know like this this is the all this, this is the all the information that you get but it has no so a person who has stood first in, let's say, uh, you know, mechanical engineering from certain ITI may not be, you know, you, you won't be able to distinguish that from a person who has stood last, perhaps in the same discipline. And there are so many other variations which are not provided in this, okay? Now, this is all the data that you can get about education. And quite obviously, we, we do not have any variable for my IQ. So all I can do is basically figure out a way to use data from these different tables okay so this is something that can be sort of you know we can sort of explain it as a proxy variable issue so let me give you another example which is pretty common and that example is of uh, you know income and consumption and i previously told you a story of you know how people actually report wrongly about their you know income data and that is why often we use consumption informations on consumption as a measure for income okay i know that consumption cannot you know give you a clear picture on the income but it is somewhat telling the true picture okay it is somewhat telling the true picture because we know there is a relationship uh, that we can see and that is if i have consumption on the y-axis and income on the x-axis so what happens is it is kind of seen everywhere and that is consumption is something it behaves like that so basically 
you know, as your income increases, your consumption keeps on increasing, but at a decreasing rate. So it, it does not increase uh, in the same rate. So because of this relationship, I can actually use consumption to sort of get some idea about the income. Okay. And that is why in NSS, we actually can see, you know, different, different uh, consumption uh, information being collected. Whereas if I want to measure the income, so this, uh, this particular round, this one is employment and employment round and uh, still we we have a separate consumption round so that that data is collected separately but even here you will see that income data is not directly connected, uh, collected it, some wage data is collected uh, but if you see there are a lot of consumption data being collected okay so it's, let's say um, what kind of foods are being consumed okay so it's a milk product cereals and pulses and vegetables and edible oils and fruits and nuts so people actually tend to give you right information about what are the things that consumed over the past one week and then as an economist i should be able to sort of you know decipher what would be their income level from the from the sort of you know from the existing uh, you know uh, relationship that you can already see okay so that is the idea of a proxy variable and this is this is a couple of examples of proxy variable, and I, I'll I'll end this lecture with one more example that we often use in social science, and that is the social status. Okay, the social status it is indeed uh, difficult to measure. You know how who is standing where in in terms of the social status, and all the data that you can get here is here in this item six. You can see the social group, and the social group if you can go to the code. In item six, you will have social groups, scheduled tribe, scheduled caste, backward classes, and others. Okay, so these are the four uh, classes: so SC, ST, OBC, and others. Okay, now it does not so it it does not tell you the entire picture of social status because with someone someone might have a lot of networks. Okay, so and someone might have a lot of information available to them. Someone's parents might have a lot of lands, irrespective of whether they're SC or ST or uh, general caste. Now. So, but you cannot really get all this information. So all you can use is to have some idea that, okay, scheduled tribes are really, you know, lower in terms of the social status, okay? And perhaps the SCs are a little better and OBCs are a little better. And then on the top of everyone is the general cost. So this way we sort of try to get a sense of the data that we have. And usually we see, what, you know, the result, results that we get usually are not wrong. I mean, we can actually intuitively explain the results, okay? So with this, I will end the lecture on the introduction to the proxy variable. And in the next lecture, we are going to actually see what are the impacts of actually having a proxy variable in terms of, you know, what are the errors, what are the bias, and what are the, you know, uh, standard deviations that we have when we use a proxy variable. Thank you.